So you find yourself in your exams and this question comes up. You have two wires with currents flowing in the same direction. Are they going to attract or repel? Everyone around you is getting lost, twisting their hands around in right hand rules, but you, you know what to do because you've played games. I'm Andy Hall, the developer behind TestTube Games, and today we're going to look at a connection between electricity, magnetism, and special relativity that can help you from getting confused about the right hand rule. Not that that would ever happen to anyone. This is one of my favorite topics in physics, which for a guy who spends his days making physics games is saying something. In fact, I like it so much that many of my games revolve around it. So there are electric forces in Bond Breaker and Agent Higgs, uh, Velocity Raptor is entirely about special relativity, and the latest game, The Electric Shocktopus, contains both electricity and magnetism. Somewhere at the intersection of those three topics is something magical. Magnetism is just electricity plus relativity. If we know electricity and special relativity, we can figure out everything we need to know about magnetism, or at least enough to answer that exam question. First up, the electricity we need to know. And it's really, really simple. In fact, I'm sure that you all know it already. We'll show it off with one of my games, the electric shocktopus. There's the shocktopus standing in the middle of the level, over to his side are some positive electric charges. In a moment, he's going to charge himself positively. All right, so positive charges, positive charges, like charges. Is he going to attract to the charges or repel away from them? Well, ouch, of course, like charges repel. How about opposite charges? We've got negative charges now. Still gonna be a positive shocktopus. So will he attract or repel? Opposites will attract. Next up, the relativity that we need. And you probably already know this too, especially if you've played my game, Velocity Raptor. In this game, you're a dinosaur traveling near the speed of light. And when you do, strange things happen. When you approach the speed of light, things seem to contract in the direction that you're moving. The faster you go, the more this happens. This is called length contraction. And honestly, that's all we really need right now from relativity. Let's take a look at a slightly different level, this time with some bullets flying by too. So looking at this, we see that there's about one bullet per snow block in the level. The snow blocks are standing still, the bullets are moving. And when the raptor starts moving, the bullets are gonna contract more. The whole line of them will contract. And we see what that means. Since they're contracting more than the room, suddenly we've got more than one bullet per snow block. From the vantage point of the raptor, the room is moving past her, and the bullets are moving past her faster. That means they're going to contract more. Now let's put everything together to figure out the answer to a question about magnetism, this time back in the realm of the electric shocktopus. Here we have the shocktopus standing on a wire with the current flowing down which means negative charges are flowing up. It's a neutral wire, and the electric shock is gonna jump off to the right-hand side and fall down. In just the moment that he begins to fall, he's going to charge himself positively. So the question is, will he attract to or repel from the wire? I don't know. I, for one, am still confused. But let's reframe this with the snowblock bullet example from a moment ago. The wire, with positive charges standing still in it is like the snow blocks in the room the raptor is moving in. The negative electric charges moving up are like the bullets moving quickly towards the shocktopus. And the shocktopus falling down is just like the raptor moving towards the bullets, or in this case, the negative charges. And even though it's the shocktopus instead of Velocity Raptor, who's got amazing speed, relativity is still there. We know that the raptor saw more bullets per snow block, which means instead of the wire being neutral with one negative charge per positive charge, the shocktopus is gonna see the negative charges squished together and more negatives per positive. And if the electric shocktopus, who's positive, sees more negative charges than positive charges, will he attract to or repel from the wire? That's right, of course he will. 
a try. No right hand rule necessary, no magnetism necessary. All we needed to know was that opposites tract, likes repel, and when you're moving, you get length contraction. Now as an exercise to the reader, what would have happened if the shocked was jumped the other way, down the left hand side? Or if the current was flowing the other way with the negative charges going down? Or suppose that instead of one positively charged shocktopus, we have a whole wire full of the shocktopi moving, making a current of their own. Would they attract to or repel from the wire? So would those two wires on your exam, with currents flowing in the same direction, attract or repel? Well, now you know exactly what you'd have to do to figure it out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, there's a few free things you can do to help. One, go play Velocity Raptor, learn about relativity. Link down uh, below. Two, you can go play The Electric Choctopus. I've got a free version of that up on my website too. And three, The Electric Choctopus is currently up on Steam Greenlight. So if you'd like to support science games, I encourage you to head out over there, vote and support the coolest game about vector calculus out there. Today we're gonna look at a Today we're gonna look at a connection. Now the bullets are flying to the that can help you from getting confused about